Are you guys feeling washed lately? The new ranked mode came out. You don't know what to do. You feel like you're losing every fight. Your builds just aren't going. Your builds ain't building. You've come to the right place, my man. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys a bunch of different maps that I use in my warm-up that'll help you get faster edits, better peace control, and just overall better at the game, better fighting and just everything. Make sure you guys stay to the end of the video. Watch all the way through to check out all these maps and see what they all have to offer you, all right? I love you guys. Appreciate all of you. Make sure you guys like and sub as well, okay? The first map we're going to try is Jivin's practice map. Now, he just made this map recently. You got a bunch of different weapons here to choose from. Five different warm-up styles, practice styles, whatever. I use this as a warm-up map as well as a practice map. That has one of these these features right here. This reactive tunnel. I've never seen this before ever. It's one of the coolest things. The arrow is pointed this way, so I'm going to go here. I'm going to box. And then the arrow is going to start moving. And it goes up. I got to make sure I get up. It goes up more. I got to make sure I get up. Oh, I'm messing up my tarps here. I'm messing up my tarps. Maybe I need this map more than I think. But you literally just follow it the entire time. It's going to change levels a lot. <clears throat> you want to try to watch the the arrow the entire time. Now, listen, I'm a controller player. I don't tart, but you can hit. Faster speed, you can check this. And it goes it goes way quicker. I mean, I'm... Oh, cut. hold on now. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, I missed my edit. This one goes a lot faster. It's a lot a lot better in my opinion. It's just how I feel like it would be in a real game. You'd be moving the whole time. I don't even know where it just went. I'm gone. It's gone. It went away from me. I died. I'm died. I died. I died in endgame. <clears throat> so we have a free build with bots. I actually, this is my favorite thing on this entire map is this little bot section. Because I like to free build a lot, but a lot of the times I'll just free build with no purpose. I'm just building around. But now there's bots at different levels. So... Wherever you see the platform, like it's right here, I can free build up, do whatever, box, go up. There'll be another one that pops up. You just saw it to my right. It kind of lets you free build with a little bit of awareness of like what's going on. Man, my free build's looking a little rough. See, I can box, then go on. And you can kind of hear when it spawns. So like, I know this one just spawned behind me. So now I can just free build over to it. Oh, I didn't hit a 200. It's over. You can pass. Say if I was to pass him and not fight him and just keep going up. Just keep free building. Let's just crank up here. It'll it'll kill that one and spawn one higher up for me. For me to go to. So even if you crank past one, it'll just spawn a, near, a new one. And you can just keep doing that over and over and over. I think this is a great way to warm up. Especially if you're just hopping on the game and you want to get a little bit of... You know, a little peace control going on. But you also just want to free build. I feel like this is a great addition. This is one of the better maps I've ever seen do this. Normally, maps just have peace control tunnels and stuff like that. Uh, sometimes, I just want a free build, man. Now, the aim trainer. This is what all controller players need because we're all nothing without aim assist. You can do faster speed. These things go flying around. Or you can do a time challenge, which is a minute long. And you, you get the score going. You get the score going, man. Got to get it up. Got to get it up. Look at that. Destroyed. Oh. Wow. Wait, I'm frying right now. Hold on. I'm literally frying. Hold on. Oh, I'm not frying anymore. I lied. So easy. So easy. Yup. The only thing I will say about this map is it's not too controller friendly because you don't really don't get aim assist on like these, these little circles, which isn't a big deal. Practicing without aim assist can be good. Especially when it's just something simple like this. This helps for a long range game like crazy. It's really, really good. Heck. Now we have the headshot box fight and the guided free build. This, I can't wait to show you guys that. That is such, it's such a fire mode. This is one, dude, I don't know. I've never seen a map like this, surprisingly. Like, normally maps are like copy and paste of other maps, and I just have not seen this. So this is a box fight, so I can come over to this little orb. He's flying away from me. He's stuck in the build or something. I'm not too sure. We'll restart it. Every time you shoot the orb, your builds reset. Every time. So he's over here now. Bam. Builds are reset. Find the orb. Now, anytime you expose yourself to the orb like I just did, it will do damage to you. So it helps you in learning, like, optimal edits to make. So where is he? Here he is. If I was to come over here, double edit down. And then stay behind this right hand and then go for a shot. I didn't get hit at all because I'm making an optimal edit. They can't see me, but if I'm to just literally go over here, edit wide, it's going to do damage to me. 
So it kind of teaches you a little optimal edit, plus it just helps helps get your aim up. Again, like I said, this isn't the most controller-friendly map because there is no aim assist on that. But it does help controller players learn crosshair placement a little bit better. Like right when I come on and edit, my crosshair should basically be where that is anyways. So guided free build. They have slow-mo. Just walk slow. I don't really think I have a use for that. Speedy. You go super quick. And then normal, which is all I'll probably ever play. And what you do is you can go left or right. And it changes levels on you while you're free building. So you kind of have to pay attention to where you're free building. Like now I got to go down. Got to go down again. Down, down into my right. And there'll be times where it'll change the entire terrain. So like, oh, I got to go down more. So like now I got to go up. The map code is on the top of the screen, but it'll also be in the description as well if you guys do want to play this. This is such a good map, and let's let's move on to the next map. Let's see what else we got going on real quick, all right? Next map we're going to try is Kenbean Speed Realistic Map. It's a 1v1 map. It is really good. If you like constant action while also fighting good players, I mean, literally just queue into this map. It's so good. Use a lot of the current loot pool. I mean, everything in here, they got... Oh, they put Kenbeans in here. That's kind of nice of them. Look at that flopper. But they got all the current loot pool, and it literally just starts, and it throws you in. So right now, I'm starting, and I need to build a box, and it's going to launch him at me from over there. Bam, he gets launched at me. Uh, I guess I got massive in the AFK, but... Oh! Yo, he's not AFK! <clears throat> we're good, we're good, we're good. Now it's going to launch me at him, and I blocked myself off. It's all good. I'm stuck now. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I blocked myself off. That was on me. But it kind of puts you in a realistic situation to where if you just get snuck up on in a cash cup, and that's literally what this map was meant for. Full box. Oh, uh, I lied. Oh my! Oh, <clears throat> sir. But and it just literally goes back and forth, back and forth. Now he's gonna have to aggress me. I build a box. Oh my! I must be playing Ken Beans in this map or something. But now I'm gonna go flying at him. He didn't build himself a box. He he tagged me up. Oh my! I'm just I'm just too nice with it. It's because I play this map. I promise you it is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Reset. Oh. I missed, I missed, I missed. I need to play the Jiva map, bro. I need... Bro, see, I should have aim trained more in that first map, bro. But if you guys do want to try this map, it's at the top of the screen. It's literally just this all day long. You can queue in with your friend. And it's super fun to play. Just constant action. Well, that's what I love the most. Like, just going into a PG, sometimes all you're doing is building 24-7. And this, you have a capped mats. And normally, you're fighting someone that also wants to be in here for practice as well. So they're just going to keep fighting over and over and over. I'm going to take as well first try. I'm going to Mongi Classic. 200. You know what I'm saying? You guys got to get it on this map. You guys got to start playing it now. Full box. I mean, he doesn't even know what he's doing, chat. He has no clue. I just said chat. All good, though. But the map map code again is on top of the screen but i will be putting it in the description we do have one more map to look at after this one of my favorite maps it's an older map i've used forever but i don't know just the next map just warms up the fingers you know it gets you going i'm gonna kill this kid one more time and then we're out of here gotta show him what's up sorry Ooh. he can't hang he can't hang seven one seven one this map I have literally played forever. This map is is such an old map. I love it so much though. It's so good. A little editing dictionary. All it does is there's different levels. Obviously these are just single edits. You know anyone can do these. You know it's not bad. They got you got pyramid edits. You can reset. You just go through. All types of different edits. I mean it's literally so good. Different resets you could do. It. I don't know. I've always loved this map. It. I swear it triples your editing speed if you play it a lot. I mean, just check me out, bro. Just check me out. Got a bunch of resets you can do as well. But whenever I'm getting on, like, this is one of my favorite maps to play. just because I can literally warm up my fingers like it's nothing. Pause. But, like, you come through here. There's, like I said, a bunch of different levels. These are kind of, like, all easy ones. Then it goes up. Very hard. Extreme. Crazy. And then impossible. This one, this one gets a bit much for sure. But if you play it a lot, uh, you'll get used to it. It's literally just a bunch of resets. Like, I'm supposed to reset that wall, and I didn't. I haven't, I haven't played yet today, guys. Don't flame me, bro. Please, bro. Please. Oh. I, get that out of here. 
Hold on, hold on. Let me let me try it real quick. Let me, hold on. I don't have my scroll wheel attached right now. It feels off. <clears throat> I, I need to play the map more, guys. I need to play it more. I need to play it more. Chill, chill, chill. They have the same thing for edit ups. Double edits. Triple edits. Triple edits with a reset. Pyramid swipes. Literally, have they have so many different options. Pyramid swipe, double edits, freaking quad edits over here. Ramp flips. Like, they have so many different options. And if you use these all the time and just add this as part of your warm-up routine, I promise you, I promise, you will become Booga. Like, I used to be Booga. And now look at me, bro. I'm washed. I'm washed, chat. Maybe I need to... Why am I making the video? I just need to do these maps. Wait, hold on. Oh, oh I said something and now I wasn't getting it anymore. On top of that, they have edit downs. Here, I'm just going to kind of go through these. A bunch of different edit downs. There's so many different options. And you literally just, like I said, add this to your warm-up routine. Warm up like 30 minutes before you play. Play the speed realistics, Jivens map, this map. If you do this every day, you will see a constant improvement. They have all types of different options. Ramp flips. They have the pyramid double edits down there. And then they have edit towers where you're literally just going straight down ramp floors. Hold on. Hold up. Hold on. Wait, I'm like that. Hold on. <clears throat> See, every time I say I'm like that, I, it's over. I, I don't hit an edit anymore. But you just do these all the time. It'll, like I said, triple your edit speed. You'll get super comfortable making these edits, making these edits quick as well. And that's one of the most important things I feel like is making quick edits. But you also need to make consistent edits. You got all these. So many options. There's reset floor. And then there's even edit up towers where you'd go edit up all these. Like I said, this is one of my favorite maps. It's an older map. The I don't even think Flea makes maps anymore. I think this is the last map he made. I'm not too sure. But it's such a good map. Like I said, the map code is on top of the screen. It will be in the description as well if you guys want to check it out. That is it for this video. Those are the main three maps I use to warm up and practice. And if you do the same, you guys will literally see so much improvement in your gameplay. And you'll love yourself so much more because you're going to be carrying your friends dropping 20s. All right? I do love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.